Hey guys, Matt from Ultimate City Source. Today I've got a review of my bumper case, which is over here. It's a black bumper case for the iPhone 4, obviously. Um, let me see, it's just, you can see the iPhone 4 with the flash and the reflective glass back. Oh, you can see a scratch in it. Ah, bad. Bad scratches. Come for Apple to recall it so I can get a new iPhone 4. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this cloth real quick. Let me just move this cloth. Um. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the iPhone 4. apologize if this looks weird. I'm yet to get my tripod still. I'm going to get that fixed soon. I actually have it lying right down on the ground, but it's broken. It's missing the part that connects to the camera. So if it can't connect to the camera, it's pretty useless. Let me just attach this onto the bump. Okay, you can see the bumper case is on the iPhone 4. Um, let me just push this on a little bit better um, so that it's not... Okay, so you can see the bumper case is now on the iPhone 4. Fits well. Um, of course, it fits well because it's an Apple design. Um, I'm going to go over some cons and pros of this case. The pros are it's got this nice silver buttons that makes it look like the 3GS. And the buttons are really nice, guys. Like the silver of them. I really like that. Um, downsides of it it doesn't protect the back. Um, I wish it had like a transparent cover. Because um, even in this case, when I had it for like a week, before I got the uh, budget gadgets cases, so like like the silicone one, um, it it kind of scratches a little bit, and you get a lot of fingerprints on the back, as you can see I have right now. Um, so I'm just gonna wipe that off real quick. Keep my iPhone for looking really nice. Um, okay, so you can see the camcorder in it. That's how shiny it is, and it's got all the marks all over it. So I'm just gonna clean this off, guys. So you can see with this bumper case, the downside is that it gets very finger, it gets a lot of fingerprints. Um, and this gloss is very nice though. Downside to it, it gives you a recessed headphone jack, kind of. Um, just like the iPhone 2G was always ranted on about. Hold on, let me turn down. Okay, just like the iPhone 2G always got ranted on about because it had the recessed headphone jack. Um, this bumper case kind of gives you a recessed headphone jack. Which, if you ask me, is kind of stupid. Um, I don't know why Apple couldn't have just made that bigger so it's not recessed. Um, second con, or third con really. The vibrator toggle is not very easy to get to. And you can see, because the volume buttons are separate, they're actually not the normal volume buttons. They're actually just a little add-on kind of piece that come in the case. You can hear it. It makes a weird rattling sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Actually, let me put the mic closer. Hold on, let me try again. You can hear it kind of... kind of makes a weird rattling sound. Um, so like if you're running with it, it'd make a weird rattling sound. Um, it's not a normal problem. It's not a bad problem, but it kind of bugs me. Um, Design-wise, I think it's a cool-looking case. I just, like I said, wish there was a clear piece running on the back of this to protect it. Um, almost like a saran wrap or something. Not that cheesy, though, but something like that. I like how it's got the flat finish uh, rubber on the side so it doesn't move. But I like how it's got the glossy in the center. That's a very nice feature of it. Again, it looks very nice on the iPhone 4. Um, keeps it looking so people can recognize that you've got the newest iPhone um, and everything. Gives you nice, nice hold in the hand and everything. Um, overall, though, guys, if they give these out free, I think they'll be good. Personally, for the money, since these are like a buck from Budget Gadgets, I actually like this case more just because it protects the back. It's got a better feel in the hand, really. Gives you access to micro SIM and everything. I almost like this case more. Um, than this $30 bumper case. Um, luckily I didn't pay for either case. This one was provided to me by my parents. And this one I got from BudgetGadgets.com to review and keep. So, um, really guys, for the money, I'll go, I'd say go for the Budget Gadgets case. Uh, for what's more enjoyable, really, um, and what will make your iPhone 4 really stand out in the crowd, the bumper case is probably better. However, for protection, I think this one still does better. Until next time, guys, when I've got another case review for the all the budget gadget cases including where's the other case um right here and the clear case that's actually on my parents phone right now or my dad's phone he's reviewing that for me right now um kind of giving me his opinion since i can't review three cases obviously in three days that only doing a case, one day a case or one case a day or whatever um so money wise i take go for the budget gadgets yes there's a lot of wires for the camcorder iphones and stuff um for looks and everything, I'd say go for the iPhone, especially the iPhone 4 bumper case, especially if they give these out for you guys. Um, 
Until next time, though, guys, with another case review, this is Matt from Ultimate City Source. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe for more reviews. See you guys.